I'm Dr. Bert Webb. I'm a board certified OBGYN and I want to talk to you today about something that is scaring a lot of women and doesn't need to. And that is abnormal pap smears and human papillomavirus. So a woman goes to her primary care doctor, or gynecologist, internist and gets a pap smear and the results come back abnormal. Most of the time these women are told that this is a horrible thing, that it's a sexually transmittable disease, that they're going to need a hysterectomy, they'll never be able to have children, that they're in for lots of problems. And that's not true. So my 34 years of practicing and doing pap smears, I've really developed an expertise in human papillomavirus and evaluating a cervix that's not perfectly normal, doing colposcopies. This is something that I love to do and I do all the time. But the visit starts off with both looking at the abnormal pap smear result and going it over with the patient and then explaining to them why they don't need to be alarmed about this. Most of the time it's very slightly off and it's something that will correct itself. If there is a problem, we'll discover it that day and we can do that with colposcopy and biopsies and it's not the painful way that it was in the past, at least the way that I do it. It's not that painful. And I get, collect the information, send it to the pathologist, and then most of the time, these are something that can be followed by an expert like myself. Um, a lot of times other practitioners will want to treat it or do a hysterectomy, and that's often the wrong thing to do. And I really want to emphasize that. And that's the reason that doing this for so many years and really liking what I do as far as evaluating the cervix, being an expert in human papillomavirus, we can be more conservative, starting from just talking with a patient, bringing them back down so that they're not so worried, doing the evaluation, and then showing them uh, both right then and then with the results that everything's going to be okay, that they're not going to need a hysterectomy, they're going to be able to have children. Most likely this is not a sexually transmittable problem. So I think the key thing is really seeing an expert, someone who enjoys doing this kind of work, and I enjoy doing this, and I've been doing it for a long time. And I really consider myself an expert in abnormal pap smears and human papillomavirus.